God is saying to you today, If you will keep your trust in me, I will always make a way even though it looks like there is no way. I will give you strength for every battle and wisdom for every decision. Like this video if you are blessed. God is saying to you today, You're going to be telling a different story really soon. One of healing, success, health, abundance, prosperity, love, happiness, peace, and great joy. You're going to be stronger, wiser, and full of life sharing all your blessings and passing along the wisdom you're receiving. God says, you can and you will make it, just like you put your trust me, so do I believe in you. My child, you are way stronger than you think. Ask my spirit to guide you, and you will see so many new opportunities from me. My little warrior, let's do it. When you see what God does next, you'll realize that worrying was a waste of time. Something good is coming. Ease your mind and place your confidence in God. He's got something special and amazing in store just for you. Keep your head up and be encouraged. God is about to give you a second chance. A second wind is coming to restore something you have lost. He's about to open that door again, but this time it will be far greater. When God says he will restore dot dot dot, it will be far greater than before. Comment Amen if you love Jesus. God says, Don't be scared or ashamed of your weaknesses. I created you this way and I love you for who you are. Don't try pretending. Instead, let's talk it out together. If anything is lacking, I will provide. If you are hurting, I will heal. My child, I love you so dearly. Let me help you. Share your favorite Bible verse in the comments. God says, yes, it's handled. I have already worked it out and the victory is yours, my child. Now walk with confidence and don't let anyone drag you down. Sweet child, my people need to see your trust in me. Open up your heart and let my light shine to this world. I love you. God says, Well done, my child. Look how much we've accomplished together. The best is yet to come. I have so many blessings planned for you. Don't settle just yet. Trust me and push forward. I will give you strength and we will shine the light together into this world. I am proud of you and I love you. God wants you to quit being so negative. He wants you to stand in faith. He wants you to be bold and courageous. He wants you to tell your problems who your God is. Donate to our ministry if you are able. God is saying to you today, something good is about to happen for you and your family. I am moving you to a new level. Your breakthrough is happening. The best part of your life is still out in front of you. Trust me. In my quiet place with Jesus, I heard the Lord say, Get ready to recover all. Get ready to receive. Some of you don't even realize that your feet have entered your promised land. Hold the Father's hand and obey His commands. Everything is about to change. Look at the attacks as proof. Your season has changed. The shift has begun. It's time. God is saying to you tonight, I will finish all that I started in your life. The delay will be turned into a miracle for you. I am going to put a new song in your heart. This is a season where I will amaze you with my goodness and favor. You are going to see your prayers answered. Do not give up. God says, The life I gave you is not about you. You were created in my image to live for me and to be a source of love, help, and comfort for other people. 
Seek me, and you will find your purpose. Restrain from doing what you want, and ask me to expose to you what I want from you. I love you. God is saying to you today, I need you to really stay focused in the coming days. I am going to bless you soon with what you have been patiently waiting for, and the enemy knows this. The enemy is going to use people that you know to distract you with pettiness. Don't respond to that. Continue to quietly go about your day and be ready for the blessing. God is saying to you today, You had some tough times, but you made it. I gave you strength to do that. Reflect back on that storm. See how you have grown. Do you see my faithfulness? My love is everlasting. I will never leave you. Stand firm on your faith that I came through for you before I will do it again. Subscribe if you trust in God's plan. God says, yes, it's handled. I have already worked it out and the victory is yours, my child. Now walk with confidence and don't let anyone drag you down. Sweet child, my people need to see your trust in me. Open up your heart and let my light shine to this world. I love you. Don't let your emotions be your decision maker. Stop and pray. Let God lead you. He sees what you do not see and knows what you do not know. He can change everything within a split second. Have faith in Him. God is saying to you today, Victory is coming to your household. Victory is coming in your finances. Victory is coming in your health. You are healthy and blessed. You are prosperous, successful, and loved. You are growing and you are winning. God says, well done, my child. Look how much we've accomplished together. The best is yet to come. I have so many blessings planned for you. Don't settle just yet. Trust me and push forward. I will give you strength and we will shine the light together into this world. I am proud of you and I love you. God says, Child, do not compromise on things I planned for you because of the fears that were haunting you in the past. You will not fall. You will never fail. I am all around you and I will lift you up so high to the places you and I can get even closer. Trust me, love, and let's jump. Remember, not a single second passes when I'm not with you, so I will be with you also on that jump. Allow me to show you the wonders I prepared just for you. I believe in you. Like this, if you believe in angels, God says, be still and know that I am God. You could think of a hundred things that could go wrong, but God didn't bring you this far to leave you. He's keeping the trouble from defeating you. Stay in peace. You're in the middle of a miracle. Post God is good if you agree. God says, Don't be scared or ashamed of your weaknesses. I created you this way and I love you for who you are. Don't try pretending. Instead, let's talk it out together. If anything is lacking, I will provide. If you are hurting... I will heal. My child, I love you so dearly. Let me help you. Share this post if you believe in miracles. God knows the when, the why, and the how. He knows the right time, the right door, and the right opportunity. So just show up, do your part, then let Him handle the rest. God said, wipe your tears. He will supply all your needs. Stop turning to man when troubles come and put it all in God's hands. Turn your worries into faith and watch how things start happening in your life. God is ready to send you a blessing out of this world. Trust in Him. God is saying to you today, everything is going to work out. 
Things are going to get better. Your life will be better than ever before. This struggle will not last forever. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Stand firm in your faith. Healing, peace, and blessings are coming your way. God says, I love you because you are my child. My dear, let these words sink in deep into your heart. You are my child. I created you. I love you. Nothing in the entire universe will change this fact. So walk in confidence, knowing you are deeply loved and secured in my truth, God says, be still and know that I am God. You could think of a hundred things that could go wrong, but God didn't bring you this far to leave you. He's keeping the trouble from defeating you. Stay in peace. You're in the middle of a miracle. God says, Treat people with love instead of how they treat you. I never taught you to treat people the way they treat you. Treat them better. The world teaches to treat people the same way they get treated, but that's not the way I roll. I have mercy and I love. God's not done with you yet. Your latter days shall be better than your former. Where you are now is only the beginning. God is about to launch you into the next dimension. Don't let your present circumstances discourage you because where you start will not be where you finish. The greatness that you've experienced on this level is only a small glimpse into the greatness to come. Get ready for your latter days. Keep moving forward. It will only get better. And though you started with little, you will end with much. Job 8, 7 God is saying to you today, You have to trust me even when you do not understand what I am doing. My ways are higher than your ways. Just believe that all things are working together for your good. Your faithfulness in me and the way I choose to get it done will be rewarded. Live a life of faith. Trust me. I got you. Send this to someone who needs encouragement. God is saying to you today, I know you are tired. It seems like your struggles will never end. When you overcome one thing, another storm appears. You seem like you cannot win for losing. Your faith is challenged every day. You often wonder, where is my God? Why is this happening? But I have not forsaken you. I am working on your behalf 24 sevenths. Even when things appear to be getting worse, do not give up. Your breakthrough is coming. God is saying to you today, you're going to be telling a different story really soon. One of healing, success, health, abundance, prosperity, love, happiness, peace, and great joy. You're going to be stronger, wiser, and full of life, sharing all your blessings and passing along the wisdom you're receiving. God is saying to you today, I'm giving you grace to deal with the challenges you're facing. Things that used to stress you out will no longer have a hold on you. Let my peace guard your heart and your mind. It's going to get better. God is up to something big just for you. He is preparing to bless you. No matter what, Stay focused and stay the course. You're going to be blessed because of your persistence and faith. The Spirit of the Lord is saying what appears to be falling apart is actually coming together. I know it looks like it's in pieces. Everything is scattered and it's left you afraid. But God wants you to know that it's actually coming together. The pieces are coming together and you will finally understand. God is saying to you today, 
You have been waiting for this breakthrough for years now. At times it seemed as though it was not going to happen, but I kept it alive when it seemed all but dead. You did not give up. You kept the faith. No one really knows how much you have gone through because of it. Now it is your due season. I'm about to send your breakthrough, delayed, but not denied. God is saying to you today, You have been waiting for this breakthrough for years now. At times it seemed as though it was not going to happen, but I kept it alive when it seemed all but dead. You did not give up. You kept the faith. No one really knows how much you have gone through because of it. Now it is your due season. I'm about to send your breakthrough. Delayed, but not denied. Follow us for daily blessings. God is saying to you tonight, I will finish all that I started in your life. The delay will be turned into a miracle for you. I'm going to put a new song in your heart. This is a season where I will amaze you with my goodness and favor. You are going to see your prayers answered. Do not give up. Something unbelievably awesome is about to happen in your life. It is going to happen in such a way that you will never be able to deny the existence of God again. If you believe, type and shout, I claim it. Comment, Hallelujah, if you are thankful. God is saying to you today, You're going to be telling a different story very soon. A story of how miracles have found you. A success story filled with so much inspiration. You'll give so much hope to so many people when they see how much you overcame and still came out on top. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, this will accelerate quickly. It will happen so fast your head will swim and you won't be able to keep up. But don't forget to give him glory because he loves to show off and get the glory he deserves. He's accelerating your promise. Everything shall happen quickly. Share this to read God's love. God is going to show out not only to take you into your destiny, but to prove to the people around you that the Lord is on your side. He's about to do something so big, so unusual, so out of the ordinary, that there won't be any doubt that his favor is on your life. God is saying to you today, you may have suffered, cried, and asked, why in private but i am going to bless restore and redeem you in public in the presence of your enemies god says step up don't be scared the adventure i prepared for you will be joyful and breathtaking you will be so much stronger and bring me so much glory child don't ever be afraid of people i am with you Nothing formed against you will ever prosper. I love you. God will put you where he wants you even if others don't think you deserve it. He will do so, and he will use you prolifically for his glory. The Lord will turn some of your biggest battles into your biggest victories, and those will be your biggest testimonies as you help other people. Like this post, if you have been saved, you're on the verge of stepping into a new season, a season of greater favor, promotion, and healing. Things that have held you back in the past, barriers that have limited your family, those powers are being broken today. You're going to see influence, resources, and talent come out of you in ways you've never dreamed. Problems that look permanent are about to suddenly turn around. Family members that wouldn't have anything to do with you, that strife and division is coming down. You don't have to make this happen. It's going to happen by the hand of God. 
You're on the verge of stepping into a new season, a season of greater favor, promotion, and healing. Things that have held you back in the past, barriers that have limited your family, those powers are being broken today. You're going to see influence, resources, and talent come out of you in ways you've never dreamed. Problems that look permanent are about to suddenly turn around. Family members that wouldn't have anything to do with you, that strife and division is coming down. You don't have to make this happen. It's going to happen by the hand of God. Comment faith if you trust in God's timing. God is saying to you today, you're stepping into a season where things change for the better. You're about to receive and experience unprecedented favor, miracles, and breakthroughs in every area of your life. You've never been blessed on the level that I am going to bless you. Get ready. God is saying to you today, in recent weeks, you have been doubting your ability to accomplish what I placed in your heart. This message is here to remind you that you can do all things through Christ. Don't let fear talk you out of your dreams. Don't forget that I'm with you and that you'll succeed. You can do this, God is saying to you today. I am going to open doors for you that have been locked for a long time. Suddenly, miracles will happen in your life. Healing and restoration are being released. Your greatest days of productivity and prosperity are on the horizon. God is saying to you today, there is about to be a change in your life for the good. You have been through enough. You are going to receive that miracle you've been praying for. Only I can do the impossible. I can make a way where there seems to be no way. I will bless your health, your family, and your finances today. God is saying to you today, your drought is over. I am going to shower your career with favor. I am going to shower your relationships with peace. I am going to shower your children with protection. I am going to shower your health with healing. And I am going to shower your life with blessings. This is your appointed season for abundance. Share this video if you believe in prayer. God is going to do something amazing in your life this month. I don't know what you've been praying about or what has had your pillows soaked with tears, but I am here today to tell you that God has heard your prayers. His angels have been dispatched, and you will see your miracles soon. I declare you will see your health turn around for the good, you will surprise the doctors, you will get the job, your job is to act and speak like it's going to happen. Walk by faith, not by sight. Support our mission by donating today. God is saying to you today, I know that you are struggling hard right now. I know your finances are tight. I know you are trying hard to deal with all of the things that life is throwing at you. I know you feel like giving up sometimes, but I want you to lean on me. I will show you the way, because I am the way. I have a blessing with your name on it. Don't give up before the blessing comes. Comment. God is great if you feel his love. God is saying to you today, I will bring you out of your darkest hour and use it to promote you. My child, come to me with great expectation, knowing that I am your God. I am bringing you out of frustration. I am bringing you out of limitation. I am bringing you into a place of fulfillment and favor like never before. The delay is over. Be encouraged and of good cheer in this season. I am your source. 
Trust in me that I am doing what you have asked me to do. God is saying to you today, They said you wouldn't make it. They said you didn't deserve it. They tried to stop you from receiving my best. My child, know that promotions and blessings come from me. What I promised you no one can take, block, or destroy. Stay in faith. I'm about to overwhelm you with blessings. God is saying to you today, I am sending great change into your life. I have heard your prayers. I know your heart and I know you want better. I am sending better and greater your way. You have endured much in your life. People have walked away from you, judging you, but it only matters what I say you are. Stay on the path. I didn't create you to be perfect. I created you to be faithful. God is saying to you today, I have not forgotten you. I know where you are and I know how to get you to where you need to be. Even when things don't go the way you planned, my hand is on you. Do not be afraid. I am working behind the scenes on your behalf and I will lead you into a life of blessings, purpose, and favor. Trust me. Share this testimony with your friends. God is shaking things up, moving things and people around in your life. He wants to deposit your blessings, but some situations and relationships must change. Not everyone can go with you on this next level of your journey. They're not equipped to support or encourage you. Some blessings bring out jealousy in people you'd never thought possible. On this level, you need only those who can handle seeing you prosper. Your season has come. Something unbelievably awesome is about to happen in your life. It is going to happen in such a way that you will never be able to deny the existence of God again. If you believe, type and shout, I claim it. God is saying, a new door is coming. Some of you are sitting at a closed door. A closed door that hurt you. It left you drained and hopeless. But God wants you to know that there is another door. He's about to open a brand new door to a place you never thought was possible. To a place full of joy and happiness. Don't give up while sitting at the closed door. Another one is coming and it'll bear much fruit. Comment Amen if you trust in God's plan. God's not done with you yet. Your latter days shall be better than your former. Where you are now is only the beginning. God is about to launch you into the next dimension. Don't let your present circumstances discourage you because where you start will not be where you finish. The greatness that you've experienced on this level is only a small glimpse into the greatness to come. Get ready for your latter days. Keep moving forward. It will only get better. And though you started with little, you will end with much. Job 8 7. Comment, blessed, if you feel God's presence. God is saying to you today, I know you are going through a difficult time in your life right now, and you are dealing with multiple circumstances and a lot of emotional pain. It seems as though before you can get through one thing, another thing happens, I don't always still the storm around you. Sometimes I still the storm raging in you. Don't give up. I am strengthening you in areas that you cannot even see right now. You and I will get through this together, like we always do. Everything will be all right. God is saying to you today, I saw what they did to you. It was wrong, dot, dot, dot. It was evil. 
But do not take revenge yourself. You have more important things to do in the kingdom. Pray for them, because vengeance is mine and I will repay them. I do not allow anyone to hurt my children without consequences. Sit back, love them, pray for them some more, and, and watch me work in my own way and in my own time. God is going to do something amazing in your life this month. I don't know what you've been praying about or what has had your pillows soaked with tears, but I am here today to tell you that God has heard your prayers. His angels have been dispatched and you will see your miracles soon. I declare you will see your health turn around for the good. You will surprise the doctors. You will get the job. Your job is to act and speak like it's going to happen. Walk by faith, not by sight. God is saying to you today, you're entering a new season of consecutive wins. It's time. You've had enough lessons. You did the work. You overcame so much. You believed even when it was hard to. You never gave up. You pushed through it all. Now it's time for you to receive blessings in a major way. God is going to do something amazing in your life. I don't know what you've been praying about or what has had your pillows soaked with tears, but I am here today to tell you that God has heard your prayers. His angels have been dispatched, and you will see your miracles soon. Like if you have faith in Jesus, I declare you will see your health turn around for the good. You will surprise the doctors, you will get the job. Your job is to act and speak like it's going to happen. Walk by faith, not by sight. God is saying to you today, don't accept where you are as your final destination. I have greater for you. Where I had you start is never where I intended for you to finish. In order to get to the next level, you must be willing to undergo transformation. I have a great plan for you and your future, Jeremiah 29, 11. Accepting what you aren't willing to change will keep you stuck. It's time to move forward. You don't want anything from your past to sabotage your future. God is saying to you tonight, Every mountain and every stronghold that is delaying your progress and your dream is being removed right now. Your hope will be restored, your expectations will be met, and blessings and miracles will come into your life. God is saying to you today, I know you have been struggling for a long time, financially, spiritually, and emotionally. You have a good heart, and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you lose your mind many times. You have been betrayed in many ways, yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not. I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemies. Hold on to your faith. Type praise the Lord if you are grateful. God is saying to you today, I know you are secretly living in pain. You cry yourself to sleep every night not wanting to bother anyone. You don't know what else to do. I know what is going on. I care and I see all things. I'm already working on your behalf. Don't worry. I have you in the palm of my hand. Share this to spread hope. You will come out of this better, brighter, and stronger than ever before. God is about to surprise you with unexplainable blessings. You have been in this place long enough. The Holy Spirit is moving you to a new level. Your breakthrough is happening. Every assignment of the enemy has been canceled. 
God is saying to you today, I know you have a lot on your mind right now. It feels like the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You feel alone. Lay all your concerns before me in prayer. I will provide. I will make a way for you. Don't worry. I have your back. Share this blessing with others. God is saying to you this afternoon, I am going to need you to pay close attention to things that are going on around you right now. The enemy is using people that you know to bring petty accusations and petty attacks against you. The purpose of these attacks are to distract you and cause you to lose focus on things that really matter in the kingdom. Let the pettiness go. Rise above it. Pray for these people and stay on the kingdom path. When God sees you doing your part, believing when you don't see any sign of it, thanking Him when you're weak, taking steps of faith when you're uncomfortable, God will give you strength beyond your natural ability. He'll help you do what you normally couldn't do. Subscribe if you believe in Jesus. God is saying to you today, My child, I need you to keep going. You are so close to your breakthrough. The job you've been praying for is coming. The healing you need is coming. The money you need is coming. The enemy wants you to stop and turn around. He wants you to give up and forfeit your blessings. My child, You've come too far to stop now. Keep climbing. You are so close to the summit and the view is beautiful. God heard your prayer last night. He felt the anxiety, the anguish, the confusion, and the pain. He seen the tears you shed for your parents, your children, your friends, your situation. God is saying to you today, for every teardrop, for every sleepless night, I have a blessing for you. You're coming out of this. I have sent a regiment of angels to clear the path for you. The pain you're feeling is coming to an end. Blessings, healing, miracles, solutions, and my divine favor is coming your way. Remember, my child, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. Psalm 35 God is saying to you today, Change is coming. I will open doors no man can shut. This is a season where I am bringing you to your destiny. I understand what you are going through, and I promise to be with you in every trial of life. Remember, your destiny is not determined by the economy or how you were raised or your education. Your destiny is determined by me, your Heavenly Father. Follow us for uplifting messages. God said, I need you to get excited again. I need you to remember you're not in this thing alone. I'm working on your challenges. I've already assigned angels to you. So let go of the stress and just trust me. I've got a pretty incredible ending in store. In fact, that's why you need to get excited again. Because the happy ending I've got coming is going to rock your world. God heard your prayer last night. He felt the anxiety, the anguish, the confusion, and the pain. Like if you believe in the power of prayer. He saw the tears you shed for your parents, your children, your friends, and your situation. God is saying to you today, For every teardrop, for every sleepless night, I have a blessing for you. You're coming out of this. I have sent a regiment of angels to clear the path for you. The pain you're feeling is coming to an end. Blessings, healing, miracles, solutions, 
and my divine favor is coming your way. God is telling you today, I know you have a lot on your mind right now. You're frustrated, overwhelmed. It feels as if the weight of the world is on your shoulders. You feel alone. I need you to lay all of your concerns and heaviness before me in prayer right now wherever you are. Whether you're at home, on the job, or in the supermarket, give it to me. I will provide. I will make a way for you. I am your peace and comforter. Don't worry. I got you and your situation in the palm of my hands. Comment faithful if you walk with God. God is saying to you today, just trust me, trust me with all of your heart. Listen, I know that it's not easy. I know that sometimes it's difficult, and I know that sometimes my will is confusing and doesn't make any sense, but just trust me, trust me, because I only want what's best for you. Trust me, because I only want to give you what you deserve, and sometimes that means closing a certain door. Sometimes that means saying no to one of your prayers. And sometimes that means removing something or someone from your life. So today, just trust me. Trust that I know what I'm doing. Trust my will. Trust my way. And just trust that my plans are far better than your plans. Because they are. God said in Isaiah 60, 22, When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. When God put the promise in your heart, when he gave you that dream, he determined the right time to bring it to pass. He's already scheduled your healing, your breakthrough, and your promotion. There are right time moments in your future where things will fall into place. The right people will show up and the opportunity will find you. What you're believing for may not have happened yet. But when you understand that God has a right time, that it's already been scheduled by the creator of the universe, you won't live worried or frustrated. Share your favorite hymn in the comments. God is saying to you today, trust me. I am setting you up for a breakthrough like you have never seen before. You are entering the beginning of a fresh new season. Don't despise the process. Don't despise the journey. The storms may come, but those storms will develop you to make you more like me. My hand is on your life, and people will watch from a distance and wonder how you have so much favor on your life. They won't understand. It is my hand that did this in you. No person will ever take credit for what I do through you. Walk boldly and confidently into this next season. No weapon formed against you will prosper. God is saying to you today, You held on during the toughest of times. I gave you strength to endure that at times you did not even know it was me. When things changed for you, many left you and wrote you off. But not only did you endure the storm, you grew in the storm. You are different. I did not create you to fit in. I created you to stand out. Now I am about to bless your faithfulness. I am about to take you to levels you never even thought were possible. Receive it in my name. Like if you believe in the power of prayer. Type Amen if you agree. Like this video if you believe in God, subscribe this channel for more videos.